Hi and welcome back to another reaction. In this video we're gonna be reacting to one video that was recommended a lot <laughs> after it came out. I'm about to react to Astro's dance practice of Knock, the new song that came out this month. My first reaction of Knock, I wasn't that surprised I think. It was something that I kind of expected from them and that's why I wasn't that crazy about that song. I was like, oh yeah, it has similar traits of Blue Flame and uh, it sounded good. It wasn't bad, not at all. It just, I wasn't like knocked off my socks, basically. But now I listen to it a lot more. I have my little YouTube playlist that I just keep on repeating when I'm editing or doing stuff. The more I listen to, the more it grew on me and uh, now it's one of my favorite songs that came out this month. In that song, Chin Chin, that's his name, right? Chin Chin actually stuck out to me the most in the song itself, just because the whole song has really a high pitch when they're singing and when his rapping comes in, which is a lot deeper, it just gives that really nice contrast. I also liked Rocky's rapping, I totally forgot to mention that, and I also love MJ's high, high note that he like gets out there. I'm like, how how does he do that? You guys probably are wondering who's gonna be my bias, I still don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and react to the dance practice. <laughs> That one is so strong. I think till now it's the strongest like chorus point dance that they had till now. It's like really, really, really strong. Ooh, solo, okay. Double hit right there. Yeah. That sequence that I loved in the music video of Moonbeam. I love that move right there. Ah. Uh, Oh, okay, right, right into my face with those <laughs> kids. <laughs> One weird question is, is MJ the smallest one of the group? Is it? It seems like it. Then again, I thought Moonbeam was the tallest. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, that switch. What? Okay. Oh, Ooh, that execution right there. Ground like shade right there. Damn, that was all the power, man. Woo, that uh, uh, whoa, nice. My 
my first impression is it's a lot more powerful than the other chorus. The other chorus were a lot more on the smooth, more detailed, detailed side. That I mean a lot of small things, a lot of isolations. They still have those moments in here. But like I said, the chorus and point dance is a seems it just feels a lot bigger than the other chorus that I saw. It's a lot more powerful, it's a lot more grounded. You can hear it especially at the end when you hear them stomping on the ground. So it's a lot more grounded, a lot more powerful in that way. And like always, their execution is so, so good. It fits the song, especially the knock, knock, knock. I love that part. It's so dope. Also the one thing they do right before the point dance that Na na na, na 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 is really really cool. So, like I did with Chunga dance practice of Stay Tonight, I'm trying something new right now in my dance practice reactions. It is that I'm, I'm gonna do a first reaction just like I did right now and give you like a brief summary explanation of what I saw, what my first impression of the dance practice is. Then I would love to watch it again with you guys. And I would just go through the music video and stop it in between when I think there's something I want to do a comment to, a more detailed comment about. And I think in that way I can give you guys an a lot more detailed explanation and analysis basically of the dance practice. Since I always felt like my older dance practice videos were a bit too brief or a bit too messy because I jumped around everywhere. Let me know if you guys prefer the more brief, fast, a little more broader summary or if you like this new way where I'm going in a second time and give you guys a little more detailed explanations and analysis of the dance practice. Let me know down in the comments below. We're just gonna go ahead and react to the dance practice again. Ooh, I didn't saw that before. That hit that rock it just did right there. It just like, out of the corner of my eye, I was like focusing on the middle. I just saw him like, tap. Damn, that was sharp. I didn't saw that before. This is why I want to do like second viewing of the dance practice because sometimes I will see stuff that I didn't saw before. God damn, that was a strong hit right there. Oh, ta-ta, little small double hit. You guys know I love ripples. We're just not gonna go into it again. I like that move way too much. That wiki it. Wait, I have to watch that again, the second chorus. I just saw something. Yeah, like I said, it's a lot harder, the chorus. Just the hits that they do, boom, boom, boom. First is like a knock on the wall, and the second one you go through and you, like your body goes with, and I think they jump to the front. It's just really powerful, especially when they do it really synchronized and it's a lot more grounded. You can hear it, how they stomp with their feet. It's a lot more like into the ground, being like a little more heavier than they are normally. <laughs> little solo right there. That little me thing right there. I think my favorite sequence. Ooh, 
I did saw that the first time. Okay, okay. First of all, I love how they reveal the member. I love, I nearly love that as much as beautiful ripples when they, you know, go to the side and then it's another one singing and not the one who's in the front. It just creates that beautiful movement in a formation and in a choreo. Then probably my favorite sequence next to the chorus is Moonbeam's kind of solo. You just can see him really like using every muscle from his upper body to like create that wave not only his arms it re you can really see it being created in his stomach and then going outside which is actually the center of everything in dancing it always has to start from like your center body and not only from your limbs because you just would look like that <laughs> then those two hits that he did at the end after his really smooth kind of solo that he has are really sharp and exact and so small, like Rocky's hit. Now Rocky's hit was a lot more of a really like outburst of energy, a really like hard one, while this one was a lot smaller and really detailed. And both are really, really dope when you use it right and they both used it right in the right moment both really used it well and both know what type of hit they have to do when just that ta ta is already a lot more grounded than they are normally like an old school bounce. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh, now he did a hit too, a really nice one. I really love the third chorus, the whole routine there, because they have that still that groundness, they change the formation, they dance first into the middle in a circle, and then they have that like little switch of being again smoother, being a lot more controlled. They really milk it. Then right after that they have that jump up, which just gives a little air to the choreo. It just gives another layer to the whole last piece of choreography it's really hard to stop somewhere because so much stuff is happening right now. One thing I wanted also to say chorus wise, this one is really dope, but my favorite one is that one where they do like an uppercut to the front. I think that one is really powerful. And also the move that I saw in the first chorus, I think they do it again here. It is that boom and then like the body comes with it. I'm not so sure, I have to watch it again. Yeah, it's like a throw drag your body with you. <laughs> That one is also really dope. And how they switch their position, like MJ and Rocky, I think. How they like with the jumping go into that triangle shape right there is really smooth. And also before that, MJ, he stuck out with me with that move. They do that little roll and then they like drag their leg with them. The way MJ executed it right there was really, really dope. <laughs> Yeah, and really smooth, nice ending with that look back. <laughs> that was my reaction to the knock dance practice by Astro. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below what I should react to next. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be safe. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and I will see you guys on the next one.